For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tens of thousands of protesters took to the streets in Sudan's capital Khartoum and its twin city Umdurman on December 19th. The date marked the two-year anniversary of the December Revolution, which began in 2018. This movement overthrew longtime dictator Omar al-Bashir and made way for the current transitional government. This year, grassroots organizations and left forces which had spearheaded this mass movement called for a course correction. Omar al-Bashir now stands trial at the ICC for genocide and his party is dismantled. Protesters are unhappy with the slow progress and the full transfer of power to civilian forces. Over the past year, the military, armed rebel movements, and centrist parties have formed an alliance. This alliance is seeking to marginalize the left and popular forces in the Legislative Council to be formed on December 31st. Protesters allege that the transformatory agenda of the December Revolution has been abandoned for surface changes. The Sudanese Communist Party has withdrawn from the ruling coalition. Many left organizations have also broken ranks with the ruling coalition. These include neighborhood resistance committees and the new secretariat faction of the now split trade union coalition called the Sudanese Professionals Association. It was these same organizations which had formed the backbone of the mass movement which brought down Bashir. These groups have the ability for mass mobilizations on the streets. The Association of the December Revolution Martyrs Families has also joined the protests against the transitional government. It has demanded that the committee formed to investigate the massacre of 127 protesters on June 3rd last year should publish its results. The massacre was carried out by a militia controlled by the military junta, which was in power before the formation of the transitional government. Members of this junta remain in powerful positions in the transitional government which followed. El Sir Kasha, a member of the association said, the streets do not betray. The revolution has deviated from its course and corrections must be made. Yeah,